everyone so today in this CSS course we are going to create a image gallery as you can see this is a image gallery this is an uh, outcome of the results so at, at the moment I have nothing on my editor this is editor and uh, the preview will be done so we'll start uh, creating an editor preview so we'll start with uh, the, starting with the website, we always start with doc type because it's HTML5 protocol. So, so that our browser would be able to know that it's HTML document for code or HTML. Well, uh, because we always start on uh, website with HTML tag. Now we're going to move to head. We'll add a title to this particular web page as image gallery. And we'll close the title bar. And we'll uh, add the styles. Uh, we'll add the style later, so we can <coughs> close the head as of now. We can move to body, body, and we can start creating our. So we'll create a first a div, a div a container for, with this container. We'll, we'll give this a class of container div class equals to as you can see. Okay, now between this, we'll create four image classes. So we'll create a one more div. Okay, let's keep a spacing with this. That looks good. So we'll, we'll uh, create an image class, div class equals to img. So that would be default for my all four images. Div class equals to img. And we will also try to close so that we don't miss on any open brackets and we'll add an image within this so we will add img src okay so i'm done with adding the image class now i'll try to run and see how does it looks like uh, at the moment i'm still not complete i have to close the body okay let's close the body so that see if one of the any images comes or not and html as well Sorry, I made a lot of typo errors. Okay, so this looks great. I have got one image. I need to add other image. First of all, I can, I, if I want, I can also add a description just below this image. So I'll, I'll add a description once now. So for description, I will add a div class and I'll give it a class of description. So desk and I will try to write anything. This Image is so cool. I'll close the div. Okay, that's done. We'll run it now and see. Okay, this looks good. So now what we need to do is we need to add four different uh, pictures. So I will just copy it and I will just keep changing the image category so that everything would remain the same. And what I can also do is in order to uh, if what happens if you click on this image nothing happens what we can do is we can add uh, anchor so that if anybody clicks on this image we'll get the image in a new window or in a new tab so we would be doing it now by adding an anchor so as you can see I have added the uh, anchor link the a target target uh, equals to blank that means that if we click on this image it will load up in a different browser so that looks cool so we, we can go back to our code that was pretty cool that I have uh, added this add this image now we would be adding four different images what I can do is I can just copy this category and I would be adding adding the image I would be adding it uh, four times three more times so that I the, so that images would be but there, there would be four images and I would just keep the images as it change so that and also this uh, alternative text and image folder would be changed so that in case uh, so that my four pictures are different so it won't look same so we would be adding this now so so now I have added uh, three more images by copying and pasting it but now we'll see how does it looks like by clicking on run okay so it's here so as we can see I, we have been able to uh, pull up the image here as you can see, uh, it's, it's looking so unwilling, but don't worry, once we add up the CSS here, it would look great.
so as you can see just uh, once I have changed the size of the image it looks great here so it, it says the image is of 600 uh, wide and 600 pixels wide and 400 height now we would start adding the CSS style so that it looks great it doesn't look like this it's looking ugly at the moment so we would be adding in page CSS which which is added always added in the head category so we'll start with a style tag so the way I prefer to code is I create the element and then I close the element open the element and close the element at the same time so that I don't uh, get an error that some elements are open or my page look disrupted so I will try to add first of all I will focus um, uh, I will not focus on container class because that doesn't matter to me I will start with the uh, with the IMG classes and the different images which are there in, the, in the, this particular image gallery because that is of more importance and will make them so here how will go okay so first of all I have targeted this IMG class that is div which contains the image and I have uh, made, I have given it a margin of five pixels, and I have also given it a border of one pixels, and that is solid border. And I have given the color as well, which is CCC, and that stands for black. So if we run it, if we run this code, we would find this all the images has got, uh, okay, the, all the images has got a border along along with it. Now what we have also done is we have also added a category of floating that it would be floating left wise. So as you can see the images are all aligned to the left side and we have given it a width of 180 pixels so that uh, our div class is uh, sorry our div is not beyond 180 pixels. Now we will move and we will try to uh, make changes to the IMG class itself. Okay, now we are targeting on the hover category so in case someone hovers over over any of those uh, images they will be getting a border once they hover and okay and the color of the color of the border also changes you can see this is not colored it's appeared in a different color but now it's appeared in a black one so as if you hover you can see the image of the border also changes because the, that the only thing which we have changed when we hover is the border and everything remains since the border color is changing now we'll add more CSS to it okay now we are, now we would be targeting the image in the image uh, class itself so this is the image this, this div contain is has a class of image and now it also contains image which is the real image so what we are doing is we are giving an image a width of 100% and a height of auto so when we say the height of auto means that the div will get the entire height available to uh, the, the image will get the entire height available to it apart from the text because the text has already occupied some height and the other remaining heights would be allocated to the image and we are given a width of 100% that means the image will shrink to fit itself within the div container so image will appear full but within the div container it will no more have its width of 600 or height of 400 it will shrink to the smallest size but it will be full this is why it's called 100% we'll click on run and see the changes so as you have seen, so the image has shrunk itself, the size, it's no more 600 wide and 400 on height and it's uh, it looks good now, it's, it is not looking untidy. So we will add more CSS and we'll make the image, this image gallery a robust one. And now as everything is done, the only thing which is left is to uh, align or give a modification to the description box. So now we would be giving a padding of 15px left, right and up and down to the description box and we will try to uh, make it a centered text so that it look good so I would be doing it now so I have given it a padding of 15 px and text align of center because in order to make the uh, text align center we have the CSS command text align center I will click on run to see the changes so as you can see the text has got a padding of 15 px for, from all the four corners and we have also aligned it to center so it looking very cool perfect in the case if you want to change the color of the border you can modify it from here you can modify it as 333 any other color whichever you like so 33 is this color if you want you can change it to as you know it's a hexadecimal, hexadecimal coding so this also looks great what we can do is we can give uh, we would be able to give a uh, 
background to the description as well so in, in where you can give it a background as 